Hi folks, so in this video we're going to start building our electronic payment operating system. The first thing we're going to do is actually create a level and call this um, operating system, like so. There we go. So this is going to be the main level which uh, everything takes you to. So to make sure this works we're going to actually go to the project settings of this game as well. So we just launch that up and then what we're going to want to do is get it so when it appears on start it actually loads the correct level. There you go. So instead of it being the project template we're setting it straight to the operating system which is fantastically what we need it to do. And then if we go to press play or if we relaunch the project it will take us straight to the operating system. Now, the other thing we're going to do whilst we're here is actually set a custom game mode for this. So, what we're going to do is actually build a custom game mode by going on to custom blueprints, and then we want to look for game mode like so, game mode base. No, we want our own game mode. Boom. And we'll call this game mode um, shopping game mode. So we know that it is actually for our shopping data. So the game mode is basically a place that we can store all the master information for the entire game. So much so that if we go to project settings, maps and modes, we can now actually change this to our shopping game mode, which is really, really important. So when we go to save and call settings from it, we can just set it to this shopping game mode instead, which will make it a lot more easy for ourselves. Now, whilst we're here, we might as well actually build a quick account uh, structure as well. So we're just right-clicking down here. We're going to Blueprints, and we're going to a Structure. And we'll call this Account Structure. Now, the account structure is going to have all the master information for every single person using this system. So it is actually going to be very important, and it's going to hold all the main data on our actual account. Um, in the real world, if you're using this, what you might choose to do is create some sort of external CSV or JSON table, which you could then bring the data in. But for the intents and purposes, we're just going to all do it within arrays in a structure. So the first thing, we're going to call it users. And we'll create this string, user names, even just to make sure it's a bit more clear. And then we'll just set that to an array. Cool. Then the next thing we'll do is we'll do user passwords. There we go. Next thing we're going to do is add user credits. Credits are going to be our former currency for this. There we go. And we're going to do them in whole numbers. So we're using integers for these. Then what we're going to do is have purchased games. And this will then be a string, so it'll be the name of the actual games that the players own. Now, for this purpose, we can leave this information blank, because that's what we're going to be appending into and adding information to. So what we'll do is we'll just create a few usernames. There we go. Bob1, Dave2, Simon3. And we'll just create some basic passwords for each of these. Password, maybe. <laughs> or PW, PW1 and pass. And then finally, we'll just add some basic credits in to use. We could add a adding credit system later on for this, and we'll give Simon a ridiculous amount. And we'll leave the actual purchase games empty for now. So now we have this structure built with this overall account data. What we can now do is go to our game mode, like so, and actually just build it into a variable. So let's click on event graph so we know what we're doing here. And we called it account structure. So I've created a new variable by clicking plus sign on the variable and then just calling it account structure, like so. So it's now got the master data to this and we will call this accounts just at the top. 
So if ever I want to now refer to the account's data, I can do so by just calling to the game mode and getting all of this lovely data. And of course, we can work out ways of adding more data in later if we want. But for now, we can now find this data under the accounts elements here. Cool. And that's uh, the basic introduction to creating a brand new level and the game modes and a quick structure to hold the accounts data in. Cheers.